Hi, my name is Kevin Battersby with BattersbyGolf.com here in Coconut Creek, Florida. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to change your golf spikes. When changing your golf spikes, obviously you need to purchase a tool for taking the spikes out, which are very nominal priced and you can find at any golf pro shop. Uh, and then also uh, purchase the spikes that co correspond with that tool. One of the key elements of taking these spikes out is not to wait as long as I did with these where there's a lot of wear on them, but we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Take the tool, it's got two little prongs, and insert that into the two holes of the spike, and then turn and twist it. As you turn and twist it, it should come out, and you can see obviously this spike is worn, doesn't have any more spike on it or any more tread, and I'll take one of these stinger spikes and insert that, matching up the threads with the spike, and then turning it in. And you can see the difference in this new spike compared to the old ones. These old ones virtually are, are worn down to almost nothing, providing no traction. This spike here has a lot of traction there. Over the years, uh, golf spikes have evolved into what we call soft spikes. For the betterment of the green and the players, these spikes don't leave the marks on the green, such as the spikes that were metal in years past, which made it problematic for players when they were putting close to the hole. That fit in very nicely. I'll try to take out another one here, but you'll notice that if you were to get a brand new pair of shoes, these spikes would come out very easily. I'm gonna have to, oh, that one didn't do too bad. Didn't have to work too bad there. Pop that out, take your, sp your spike, match up the threads and insert that in there. And again, you can see the spikes I have on now are actually a little better wear than these here. These won't need to be changed for a while. But when you see, start to see them fret, fray and shred, and then you'll feel also a lack of traction in the, on the greens. And it's imperative with the soft spikes that you really change them more often because they're not steel, which, which as the steel wears down, you get more traction. But once these wear down to this nub here, really you're no better than being in tennis shoes. I'm going to try to take out one more with the tool. That one's a tough one. But the tool is a standard instrument that's sold. It's a standard size, and therefore uh, almost any spike you buy and any tool you use would be su su suitable to the golf shoes that you purchase. This has been Kevin Battersby. Thank you for watching.